Hi, I'm Susan Hudson. I'm also called Traditional Woman. I'm a Diné. I'm Kia Ani Nisle. And this right here is my quilt, Tears of Our Children and Tears for Our Children. I um, had a dream uh, a year and a half ago about this. And what I did was it took me a while to do it. But I wanted to tell our stories, mainly my, my story, my mother's story, my grandmother's story, and everybody else's story. And what I did was that my mother, in 1944, my mother was four years old when they came to take her away to the boarding school. And so what I want to show right here was the love that my great-grandmother had for my mother, that when they took her away and put her in the wagon, that she tried to go over there, but she was stopped. So what I did inside the wagons, I have outlined of children that were taken away before and were taken away afterwards. And then right here with the women, I have outlines of women that cried and tried to get their children, but then the army stopped and the soldiers came. Some of them were even killed, you know, trying to get the children back. And then right here on the wagon, I don't have wheels. I have, these are handcuffs. Because the night that my mother went to the boarding school, they handcuffed her to the bed. They whipped her for not having underwear on and not speaking English. So that was, that's the tears for our children part. And then right here, I want to show how beautiful we were, our clothing, our lives, our beliefs of being alive, of being native, no matter what tribe we were. And so this is for my, my Uncle Edison. I did that for my Uncle Edison. I did this for my mother. And I did this one for Senator Campbell, his, his uncle. And I did that and then I made the, the little beadwork so all you beaters out there, you don't have to worry about me. I'm okay. And then this one's for Chief Hollow Horn Bear, his great-great-granddaughter, Becky. I did that for her. And then this is Senator Campbell's father, Albert. This is his, one of his grandmas that was, uh, her name was Red Shaw Woman, and she was in Sand Creek Massacre. This is for my Uncle Tommy. And this was my, for my grandmother. She was herding sheep when they came and took her away. So I did that. So then I wanted to show up here the tears of our children, where they have the outlines of all the children that have been killed in the boarding school and how they put the clothes on too big so they had to, um, they didn't have the belt so they would give them the ropes. And this was mostly for my grandmother. She cried when they cut her hair. So this is showing her. And then right here I have the little pink ribbon. But what they did with my grandmother after her hair started growing out, they gave them rags to try to curl it so they looked like they were white with curly hair. It's kind of like the Shirley Temple look. But what they would do was take that little piece of um, rags and put it in their hair to make it look pretty. So I did that. And then I showed where they're trying to learn, making them stand at attention. And this is uh, the night that my mother was uh, beaten, that one of the older girls came to comfort her. So that's what I did. And then I have the other children. But this one is for the young, the, um, the ones that had their braids, their proud of their hair, they got cut off. So this is what the story is about. And I did that for all of us. I have a lot of elders that come up and say, this is my story. And I don't put faces on them too, because great spirits are the only one that can give us sight, can give us breath, can give us voice. And a lot of people come up and all they can do is imagine and put their faces there and that's them.